Welcome to another video, guys. In today's video, I'm going to be removing the two front seat belts and the airbag, upper airbags on a Chevy Silverado HD. And I currently have some videos on this truck on my channel. So if you have not yet seen them, please go ahead and watch them. And you can see the process that we've done on this truck. It's come a long way. I'll put the link above where you can go ahead and watch the videos on this truck. So, I'm gonna go ahead and, so as you can see, it's a little bit dirty in here, but I'm going, the seat belts are stuck. When you get in a wreck and you have your seat belts on, they get stuck, jammed, so. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove the seat belts on any Chevy Silverado, Suburban, Tahoe, Yukon. They're all the same thing, same process. I'm gonna be removing the seat belts and these upper airbags that go right here on the roof. So if you wanna know how to remove that stuff on a crashed vehicle, this, this is the right video. And I'm also going to be removing the airbag module. I'm going to be sending that out to a buddy of mine that um, resets them and fixes the seat belts. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is remove your uh, screw to your seat belt. In this case is a T to T50 six point T50 so let me go ahead remove that first okay once you have that out you can go ahead and start taking off your other screws you got one here I know GM, Chevy, they made some weird screws to grab on your, your seat. Takes another one right there. This one even brings a little pin. You gotta get out. But there's not any, any ordinary socket. So you gotta have a special socket to take these seats off. In this case, I got a blue point. It's a E18. So no other socket that will take it out. Gather it. Just like that. There you go. So it takes four, it takes one here, that one. So you gotta get these little covers out. It's a little bit dirty. I don't think yours will be that dirty, but there's the other one. That one I believe is like E. I think it's smaller. Yeah, it's smaller than this one. I think it's like a E10. I'm not sure, but it takes one here and it takes the other one. I got another one right here. As you can see, they're they're a little bit smaller compared to this one that I got here. So, gotta go get that socket. So I went ahead and got the socket for the back. The screws in the back. It's a E. 16 it's an e16 here you go that's what you need to get the seat out and then as for this it takes a pin right here as you can see you go ahead and focus right there you just pry it out pry it out like so it's just for safety i guess in case it wants to turn on its own. This is not gonna keep it from turning. <laughs> so let me go ahead and finish taking these screws out and get the seat on out of here. So I got all the screws off, as you can see. Everything is out, now I just gotta unplug. Let's see. Now I just got to unplug these plugs right here. It's to the airbag, like so. One more right here. 
I don't even have to get it out, I think. Like so. And it should be right out freely. Oh, why don't you look at that? I found me a dime and a penny. You'd be impressed on what I find in these crash vehicles that we buy in the auction. All right, so now that we got the seat all loose, I'm taking out the seat, like I said, that it, because I gotta get to the airbag module. If you're just changing your seatbelt, you don't gotta loosen your your seat all up. You, you just gotta take these covers off right here. Take this other cover off right here. I want to break it. Like so, it just pops on and out. And there's the screw to your seatbelt, which is, I believe is the T50. Yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and lose that up. And then we'll start taking these panels off. We'll, we'll start right now, actually. Just wanna go ahead and put this on out, like so. And there's your seat belt. It just takes a clip up here, it's clipped on. You don't even have to take this panel off. And it takes a T50, let me go to the other side. I believe it takes a T50 right there. Right here. And your seatbelt comes off and you just gotta unplug this. The plug, you got a safety right here. Pull that safety out. And it's ready to unplug. Like so. So let me go ahead and pull those two screws off to get the seatbelt out. I'm, I'm good to go to hit him with the battery ratch. You don't want to strip these. Like that, it comes out. Like so. And voila. Seat belt out of the seat. I already loose, loosened this one up as well. Let's see here. I said I got a got a clip right here. And that is how you remove a seat belt off of a Chevy Silverado. Oh, either way I still have to take the seat out. And I'm still going to be removing this panel because I got to remove this headlining to get to the airbag. But before that, I still need to remove the other seat belt, remove the airbag module. So I'm gonna get to do the. I'm gonna get to that, and I'll get back to you guys once I am removing the airbags because the process on that side is the same process as this side. So I'll be right back. Well. The screws to this come off when you take the, the screws to the main seat. That's when these screws come off, but this goes at the bottom. So you got to take the other seats off before you take this out. And in order to get to your airbag module, you got to take this out because the airbag module is right here. This is what, this is the computer to your airbags. All your seat belts, your airbags. And it takes four, uh, three screws, one here, one here and one in there. I already went ahead and took them out. It's a size 10. And then I'm gonna go ahead and unplug them. You just gotta push the little black right there, pull it out, and then it comes out like so. Same thing. Has like a little, a little button here. Push it down. Once you push it down, you can go ahead and open it and then pull it up now. So, there you 
have it. And that's your airbag module right there. All right, so now that we already went ahead and took all that off, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the airbag because the junkyard that has them says that I need to take it off to make sure it's the right one. So let's get to it. First thing is first, we gotta take off the, the handle right here. And I believe that's a, it's an eight millimeter. So let's go ahead and take that off. So, gives you more clearance on bringing this down. As you can see, when the airbag, airbag popped or deployed, it went ahead and popped the headliner out of this uh, uh, panel. It's supposed to be tucked in like this. So, it takes two 7 millimeter bolts right here. It takes one right here. You gotta take this panel out and you have to take off the sun visor i believe these are uh you takes this little cover right here go ahead and pop it right out with your hand and i believe those are t like t15 yeah like t15 six point Take that out and it takes another screw right here, seven. It's gonna take the little cover off. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those off real quick and see where we're at once we're there. So I already went ahead and took out the, the side panel. I only took one screw right there. Like I said, a seven milliliter. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and take out these three screws to a sun visor, and that is a T15 six point screw. It's a little windy today. So I don't know how the video's gonna come out. Bear with me. visors out just three screws like i said six point screws t15 that gives you more more uh, clearance to go ahead and bring the the headliner down some and as you can see there's the airbag so let's go ahead and continue we're gonna go and take that other side panel off over there that's only one seven, so let me go ahead and take that off and we'll get back. So I already went ahead and loosened, and loosened up this panel right here. And you also have to take off the clip that is holding the headliner, like how it is on the other side. Go ahead and pull your clip out, pull this down, and you have room to, to, to push this down or pull it down. And as you can see, there's the airbag and there's one, two three it takes a couple of screws four right here right there four and then it takes two more right here five six that's the main airbag right there all that has to come out and then it go it just keeps going down to the front There's another one seven eight 
10. It takes about 10 screws. So let me go ahead and you need yourself a, I got me one of these and a socket 10, and a short 10, and you'll be able to get those out. So let me get that going. So let me go ahead and take those screws out. As you can see, it's simple. All you gotta do is follow the line and just that hold this airbag as you can see it takes one plug right there I already went ahead and uh, let me focus right here Let's see here I already went ahead and pulled that pin out that orange pin let me see here it's kind of hard to focus at the same time while I move the seat belt but there you go so I went ahead and and pull that down once you have that pulled down you can go ahead and it just you gotta squeeze on both ends and it comes down comes out those two black pieces one here on this side and one on the other side push those and pull it out and it comes right out make sure you push this pin in or don't lose it but there you go that's the way you unplug it and it's ready to uh, come out. Your back is ready to come out like so. As you can see, it got it out here. And now it's just to get the, the main airbag out. So let me go ahead and pull that out without breaking the rear window. And there you guys have it. That is how you take off the side airbags on any Suburban, Tahoe, Silverado, GMC Sierra. They're all the same thing. You guys have it. it takes about 10 screws down the line. 10, 10, size 10 milliliter bolts down the line. There are the seat belts, airbag module, sending these down to New York, get them fixed. And I'm going down to pick to uh, I'm going down to the junkyard to see if I can find these airbags. All right, so that's gonna cut it for this video. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it helps some of you guys. Please uh, subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace. All right, so that's gonna cut it for this video, guys. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you guys. It came in handy. To those of you who buy wrecked trucks and need to know how to replace the airbags and I mean, the replace the roof airbag seat belts, seats, there you have it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Peace.